Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atla Pinkin. In today's video, I'm going to talk about that crypto spams increased 4,000% in the last two years. So actually, who is in crypto is in danger because there are more and more spams and uh, phishing attacks are uh, around and you have to be very careful. Okay, the second thing I would like to talk about is that uh, Michael... Uh, Maybach, who is the CEO of MasterCard, said in Davos that Swift probably won't exist in five years. And this was like an interesting statement. People were a bit shocked, like what he just said there. And uh, we have here Bill Miller, who is, you know, a billionaire, and he calls Bitcoin basically insurance against financial catastrophe. So guys, all this in today's video. And if you would like to stay up to date, you know, get every single day the fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news, then simply subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom, because I'm bringing them for you. Also, check out the links under this video because there are many useful ones. Plus, hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And now it's time to look at the market. And uh, we can see that Bitcoin is actually, well, keep doing the sideways movement because it's a bit more than half percent down the last 24 hours. At the moment, 29,000 US dollar. Ethereum went down a bit more, actually, when you compare it now to Bitcoin. It was holding itself pretty well for a while, but now it's like 3% down at 1,782. But look, compared in the last seven days, we have Bitcoin a bit more than 4%, but Ethereum more than 12% down. And uh, when we're looking at the top gainers, you see Ethereum Classic, on the other hand, uh, going up 4.6, NEO 4.2, and we have curved out uh, 4%. So these are the gainers. When we look at the losers, okay. Terra Classic, USD, as we call it right now, it's 60% down, but you can ignore that right now. Steppen, 20% down. Aeron, 14%. Torchin, 11%. Many, many big ones. Like, look at Avalanche going down like crazy recently. We have Apecoin also more going down. Solana. All these big ones are also losing. So, old coins are really not in the good shape at the moment. And when you're looking at, uh, you know, Bitcoin dominance, it's also almost 46%. 46%, so right now, people moving their um, assets and their money into Bitcoin from old coins, panicking more about this bad situation, what we have right now on the market. And therefore, you see old coins going down a bit more uh, and, and Bitcoin holding itself, put it this way, pretty uh, well. Um, yes, you know. 29,000 and it's, it's, it's like behaving, look at this one, it's behaving here like a stable coin kind of going up and down, up and down, up and down, but in this range somewhere between 28,000 something and 30,000. So this is where we are for a while. Of course, sooner or later, later, we have to break out of this zone, but the question is which way? And to be honest with you, we have support for both. We have many bottom indicators. They're showing that it's time to for a relief rally at least. And of course, there are others they saying that uh, because of the bad economic situation, uh, as the stock market will uh, continue to go down, Bitcoin going to just follow that move because it's kind of uh, correlated to the stock market at the moment. Okay, and now let's move on to the first topic. And the first topic is all about that basically crypto spams went up like crazy in the last two years, 4,000%. So if you are in the crypto sphere, then, then you uh, experiencing that you're getting emails and many, uh, you know, bots and, and people try to trick, trick you and, and scam you. And when you go on YouTube, then you have this uh, scam videos, you send Bitcoin, uh, then I send double amount back. Of course, you never get it. So there are so many out there. And this number increased significantly in the last two years, 4 thousand percent as crypto sp um, spams went up you know uh, spam and bots have been annoying annoying anyone uh, that used the internet for years basically 
right? But recently, this digital uh, um, surge has ramped up activity in the crypto sector in a big way. So really, why? Obviously, because there is huge money in crypto. So why they can spam you, you know, in, on the normal way, like on some other platforms. Okay, so what can they can uh, get from you? But in crypto, people, uh, you know, it's such a mess for many uh, people that they just they just don't know and and uh, what to do or what they should do or you shouldn't do. And of course, they hear for this uh, get uh, rich uh, quick kind of uh, method. And of course, when they see something like this, they believe, well, it's crypto. Uh, everything is possible in crypto. So let's uh, uh, give a chance. Today, I am the lucky one who will get rich. And well, not question. It is what it is in many cases. So crypto intelligence provider Luna Crash has revealed a spam in the um, crypto sphere has increased by astonishing here is the exact number, but it's roughly speaking 40,000%. So the firm has been collecting crypto specific social data since 2019 and says not only in, uh, is spam at all time high, it's also the fastest going metric on social media, which is definitely scary. And uh, for instance, there has been an estimated 1,374% increase in Twitter spam volume over the past two years, according to uh, Luna Crash. And, you know, we have here, obviously, Elon Musk uh, and, you know, his buy of Twitter um, is now put on hold earlier this month, pending further details supporting Twitter's, uh, you know, asseveration that spam and fake accounts represent less than 5% of the platform traffic, he thinks it's more than 5% and that's why they investigate uh, right now. But guess what? If it comes out, it's much bigger than 5%. All these people who are advertising on Twitter and everything, you know, and Twitter sold the advertisement for, for them, the, I mean, the, the, the space and they pay money and they have a lot of spams. Well, what they will say. So it's, it's a very, very interesting thing. But bottom line, guys, please be very careful. So when you see actually shady things, so when it comes to, um, for example, this kind of phishing attacks, when it comes to, um, you know, Ledger or some other crypto wallet, you know, you store your asset there and then you get, receive an email so you can you should refresh it or send your 24-word uh, uh, recovery phrase uh, to them. All these things never ever, okay, be very careful, educate yourself. What are the recent uh, spam cases when you see videos on YouTube? When something sounds just too good, it's probably, uh, it's not. And and it's 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 crazy to find the, the balance in crypto because in crypto, uh, many cases, it sounds too good and it is true. So it's like, okay, so where is the, where is the border when I'm saying this like, this is too much and, and this is, is still okay. And so please, please be very careful because this number is has increased and is increasing continuously. Uh, okay, second topic, it's all about uh, Michael uh, Maybach, um, what he said uh, on in Davos, uh, who is the CEO of MasterCard, that Swift probably won't exist in five years. <laughs> There was an interesting, uh, interesting statement by uh, Michael uh, Maybach, who is the CEO of MasterCard, because he said that Swift probably won't exist in five years. So he said this on, on, on Tuesday that uh, he does not uh, expect Swift, one of the most widely used platform for cross-border fiat transaction, to exist in five years' time. And he said it at the World Economic Forum in Davos, uh, you know, in this year, which was on right now. And actually, Swift processed 42 million messages uh, a day last year, but transactions on the network can take several days to complete, actually. And uh, you can see that they would like to really improve and they would like to really go uh, in, the, in the way uh, of the CBDCs. So Swift also posted here that we collaborating uh, with um, uh, Cap Gemini 
uh, to explore how Swift can uh, interlink the multiple domestic-based CBDCs networks emerging worldwide to make cross-border payments with digital currencies more, you know, uh, seamless and uh, fractionless. So probably they own it. And when then um, the CEO here, Michael, uh, he clarified that uh, basically it won't exist in the form as it is existing uh, right now, but definitely uh, they have to improve uh, a lot and a lot of things are, are changing. As soon as you move to CBDCs, uh, simply things just won't take uh, that long. But uh, it's a long road, but it's also not that long, But it, it because it's probably happening in a couple of years' time. And uh, well then this can uh, change change the transactions and change the way how uh, Swift is uh, operating, or it will still exist in any kind of form or the new thing uh, will come. So this is a, a good question, but probably not in the way it is existing right now. Okay, and the third topic is all about that the billionaire Bill Miller calls Bitcoin as insurance against financial catastrophe. <laughs> What we have right now, this uh, major inflation, what we, uh, you know, witnessing in several countries, but even when you look at the, the you know, the, the reserve currency, the US dollar, it's also inflating more than 8%, uh, even uh, in April and also in March, it was above it. And uh, when you can get other countries, there you can uh, experience much crazier inflations. So basically, uh, billionaire uh, Bill Miller calls Bitcoin an insurance against this financial catastrophe. And also, he po uh, makes a couple of other points that it's not just like as uh, now no, no money is inflating, but another thing is that uh, he came with the example of Afghanistan. So when the US pulled out of Afghanistan, Western Union stopped sending uh, remittances there or take them from Afghanistan. But if you hold Bitcoin, you were fine. Your Bitcoin is there. You can send it to anybody in the world if you have a phone. So this is, for example, one thing. And there are the unbanked people, you know, uh, a big chunk of it. For example, when when uh, Bitcoin became legal tender in El Salvador, 30% uh, of the people had uh, a bank account, so access to bank services, and 70 not. And in one month time, uh, the 50% of the population uh, had the possibility uh, to have a Bitcoin uh, transaction because they had a, a Bitcoin wallet and they could use it if they wanted to. So it's like a, a big, big, big uh, difference what's happening with Bitcoin. Also, <clears throat> so when the Fed stepped in, uh, again, his words, Bill Miller's words, that uh, in and started uh, gunning the money supply and bailing out, in a sense, the uh, mortgage rates, Bitcoin functioned fine. There was no run on Bitcoin. The system functioned with the Fed and without any interference. Everybody got their Bitcoin, uh, the price adjusted. And then when the Bitcoiners realized, wait, we are going to have inflation down the road, Bitcoin went through the roof. And of course, we have to calculate it that Bitcoin is a volatile asset. It's still small when it comes to, to investment, <clears throat> comes to, to safe havens. Of course, for many of you, it's already an obvious option, but for the majority of the world, it's not yet. So actually, it, it's growing. But guess what? If it hits that level, then people will be actually very, very uh, keen uh, to get in somehow. Um, and, you know, he's also known that uh, he put uh, half of his net worth in Bitcoin in January. So actually made a major, major move because he's a very, very rich guy. So put a lot of money in Bitcoin in, 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 in January because he believes in long term it's, it's, it's going to be a good investment. Um, okay, of course, nobody knows the future. We will see. But we also can see the signs of fiat currency, how this is basically the value of your fiat is evaporating. So you must do something. And uh, more and more people uh, call Bitcoin as uh, one of the possibilities. Um, so it's worth to keep an eye on it. 
Guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single weekday, I bring you the freshest. So I'm back Monday with the fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're not missing anything. And also hit the like button if you like this kind of content. I wish you a great weekend. Have a good one. Bye-bye.